Ooh, what's this? It's the HK1 Android TV box. Let's see what's inside, shall we? Oh, what's the missus been ordering? It's one of them makeup box things, I think. Oh, it's very pretty. Mmm. Ooh, shiny. Is that what I think it is? Is that a Metro Monkey? In the Ninja Hidey Hole, we have a HDMI cable, a power adapter, this is 5 volt, 2 amp, and a remote control. I'm not going to use this. And finally, origami paper. This box is extremely light, and it reminds me of a Zap. A top tier ice lolly from England. On the back we have power in, spdiff, HDMI, AV, and network. Moving around, on the corner we have a USB 2, USB 3, and the micro SD slot. On the bottom we have a nice sticker. This box is surprisingly small, so for the size comparison, let's use a Roy Bosch tea bag. Caffeine free, it could be better for you and me. Roy Bosch specs. This is a TV box with Android 9. It's got a 1.9 gigahertz quad core processor in it, a Mali G31 GPU, 4 gigabyte RAM, and is extremely cheap. Alright, let's turn it on, see how it performs. So we have Android 9 here, and when it's turned on, a clock appears on the front side of the TV box. Reminds me of my parents' old radio. I wonder if they still have that. Here's a couple of benchmarks, first one Anti2, and the second is Geekbench. But let's get into some testing that makes sense. I installed MUL like 4 onto a micro SD. Using this you can play many older games from your TV box. Like a RetroPie, you need to add your own games. But if you have a RetroPie or Super Console X, you can easily move them over. We can change the themes. Emuelic has a vast range of customization options. Choose a monkey! Choose a monkey! Now uh, let's go with the classic Bomberman. Alrighty, let's get into some game testing. This one's Zaxxon on main. Here's some Neo Geo. The systems that will run on this are very similar to the Super Console X, but the system is a bit quicker. So for that, I want to check out the more difficult games to run. Here's Jim Power on FS UAE, which is for the Amiga. And this game actually runs pretty well. 50 frames per second is full speed for this game. Some Tekken 3 for the PlayStation. This is PCSX rearmed. And here's some Ridge Racer Revolution on the Swan Station. This is running on the Vulcan backend. We're going to move over to Dead or Alive 2 on the Dreamcast. It's running on the Flycast core. Here's Virtua Tennis. This one had severe glitching on the Mali 450 GPU. The new GPU here cleans that up nicely. If the game chugs a little, you can always turn on frame skip to speed things along. And Cannon Spike. This one also had graphical issues. Now it's all good. I'm going 
going to move on to a Thomas Wave here. This one's Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. Doesn't even run on the console X. So the elephant in the room, Nintendo 64. I'll say this once, N64 is a difficult platform to emulate. I had best luck on the Mupin 64 Plus Core, but on stock settings, it's very fuzzy. Raising the resolution can make it look better, but it will slow it down. Expect to only play the most simple N64 games at a good speed. Is Killer Instinct gold? Okay, here's some PSP. Many titles will run like Slow Honey, but that is until you put on some frame skip. It's not complete perfection, but I'm amazed that these games can be somewhat playable on such a cheap TV box. Outrun 2006 is a bit more demanding. We can see that with the FPS at the top right. Android also has its own emulators and games. Have Moopin 64, FZ, Redream, YouTube, Netflix, the Google Play Store, Internet, um. Email. So, for the pros and cons. Android 9 gives the user an easy way of installing apps, so it's not just a one trick pony. Throwing MULEC onto a microSD makes this a cheap retro gaming powerhouse. The 4GB of memory and fast dish CPU allows us to play more demanding games than most other TV boxes under $100. If you have a Super Console X or even the Pro, felt like it needed a little more memory, this is a cheap upgrade. Newer versions of MULEC need at least 2GB or it will choke. So what about the Pi 4? The Pi usually wins with software support. But with the recent developments of MULEC and the community, I find that the HK1 box can actually outperform the Pi 4, especially when it's left stock. If you then put into account that you would pay more than double for a Pi 4, I can tell you now, I can clearly recommend this cheap little HK1 makeup box for your wife. Or friend. Anyway, time for some Crossy Road. Ta-ra!